Sports. One choice. One place. Discovery Health Channel. Real life medicine miracles. Charlotte, North Carolina is growing and changing. A booming economy has created a modern downtown. Landmarks from the city's distinguished past have been demolished. The city's changed a lot. We're a little bitty cow town growing up to be something big. Though the physical city is changing, native Charlotteans hold on to proud traditions, southern hospitality, and strong values. Family, duty, faith. Whether they are a street person, an alcoholic, a drug addict, or the mother of 10 kids who may be a saint, you have to look at everybody and see that this person is a human being and you're there to help them. So you have to think about and the dedicated paramedics of Mecklenburg County help keep their community strong pursuing their mission to offer a helping hand and an understanding heart. All right, I'm going to Milton Road. As the day ends, Sally Deal and Jamie Galloway are called to help an injured boy. Somebody help me, I can't see. 46, 29, 46, 29, I can't see a thing. Oh, it's right here. All right. We've had people come up to us and say, well, I've never seen two women on a truck together. They feel like we're not strong enough. But I think women, as a rule, are a little more compassionate to people. They have a little bit of that nurturing, that mothering aspect, especially when you're dealing with children. While playing with friends, 10-year-old Trenton Massey was bitten by a neighbor's dog. Trenton, listen to me. Can I get you to calm down? I got a bit of a wet dog, but I'm ready to beat the crap out of it. You're going to beat the crap out of it? <laughs> Trenton is probably a handful in a normal situation. He had a very minor little puncture wound to his upper thigh area. I can't believe it was hurting as bad as he thought it was but we were trying to help him. Hit it real hard. Hit it as hard like you want to hit the dog. Hit it hard, hit it hard, hit it hard, hit it hard, hit it hard. Hit it hard. Children especially are a big concern as far as when it's a child, our hearts override our minds and we want to go and comfort that child. All now. Tomorrow. Despite moments that test their skills and break their hearts, these residents are inspired by the perseverance of their youngest patients. Go behind the scenes with The Residents, tomorrow on Discovery Health Channel. For Sally and Jamie, with dog bite victim Trenton Massey, most of their job is soothing nerves. This is a good job for you, if you get the chance to hold the baby, um, you want to do that. And the little baby was, I think he was about a year and a half. 
and he was crying because Trenton was crying. And especially when you're dealing with children, you have to put mom at ease. You have to put everyone at ease. Yeah, he still can get rabies if I don't, if I'm not able to get him to the emergency room. No, 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 She was talking about something else, the dog, okay? Now let's think about something else. We were talking about school. What else do you like at school? There's the doggy police. Animal control checks in on the scene. He just came up and just chased after you, just started chasing you? I found a dog and a dog just started chasing me. Okay. Do you know where he lives? Yeah. Okay, and we'll take a ride around and see if we find the owner of that dog there, okay? If the dog can be located, Trenton will probably not need rabies shots. But one mystery remains. Why do his pants have no bite marks? There ain't no hole in my pants. No, no, you can't tell there's no hole in my pants because I don't. Because I did have a belt on my pants while I was school. What, did your pants fall down? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to go. Bye-bye. My daughter is 10, my son is 15, Christopher and Megan. My kids like to tell me, Mom, you, you help people, you have a very important job, and, and you're a good person. I'm trying to do the best for you, hon, okay? I love my job very much, and I love it because of the differences. Nothing is the same. I'm not stuck inside looking out. I'm actually outside looking in. We were driving by, and I saw everyone standing around, and from a distance, it looked like there was a man lying down on the ground here, and then all of a sudden, his body just started to separate. Turns out to be about 15 puppies. Oh, they're, they're adopting puppies out. Oh, this is gorgeous. This one is gorgeous. Very much. I enjoy doing this line of work. Uh, I feel like it's been my destiny to do this, so I'm very happy with it. Another life saved. <laughs> Tattoo studio. Nikki has done a lot of tattoos for a bunch of medics. Her artwork is well known with the paramedics. Everybody that uh, talks about a tattoo at Medic, we say go see Nikki. You talk to a lot of people that's in fire, police, or uh, EMS, you'll find out that somewhere on their body they have a tattoo indicating what they've done. But that's good because so many people, they don't like their job. And so I think that's great to be in a profession that yeah. you enjoy. You like what you do, you're proud of it, you stand up for it, you talk about it, you promote it. I mean, it's just an unbelievable passion that I've never experienced before until I became a paramedic. I found my life calling because this is what I like to do. At some point of the day, you get to be a hero to somebody. Whether it's just bandaging up a cut or, like we say, snatching them out of the jaws of death, you, you still get to be a hero. Made a difference in someone's life today. If someone gave me $10 million tomorrow, I probably would still come to work just because I love doing this. Are you you want to go? Come with me. <laughs> Next, on another episode of Paramedics, long hours, sleepless nights, and adrenaline-filled rescues. Experience the chaos of medicine in the streets. Next.